What's up, y'all? This is Brandon here to give you another fitness tip of the day. All right, and today I want to talk about working out legs. Now, I already did a video talking about don't skip leg day, so hopefully, you took my advice and quit skipping leg day. All right, but now you're doing leg day. What do you do? All right, something that's very important to and incorporate your workouts. First of all, you want to do the foundations. You want to squat. Squatting is the single most important lower body exercise that you can do. Squatting is very important. All right. You can even throw in some, uh, you know, um, leg press if the squat's a little too difficult on your back. Um, deadlifts. And once again, if you if you know the proper form. But I would say the big two is squatting and deadlifting. Also, I mean, hand cleaning. That's a little. That's a little advanced, so don't worry about that right now. But that alone, while those are great exercises and will get you very strong and explosive, you can't just do you can't just do bilateral movements, all right? Meaning two legs on the ground at the same time. Because how how often are, are we, especially if you play sports, you're always on one leg, whether you're running, you know, one leg. The one leg up, one leg down, one leg up, one leg down, jumping, one leg, you know, sometimes you jump with two. But most of the times we're not just standing, we're walking, which means one leg is in the air, one leg suspended into the air. And also, to avoid muscle imbalances, instead of having one leg stronger than the other, you know, you'll squat and let's just say your left's a lot stronger, you know, and so you'll put more pressure on your left, which can cause a lot of issues. So incorporate a lot of single leg work to avoid all that. Still do your squats and everything, but also do single leg work, like single leg um, leg press. You can do pistol squats, which is a fantastic exercise for strength. Um, Bulgarian split squats. You, you can look all these up. Um, and um, you know, single leg cat, single leg calf raises. You want you want to you want to do single leg exercises also to go with your you know, your two leg exercises to make sure that both legs are balanced. You don't create any imbalances. All right. So, you know, and, and lunges, obviously, you know, lunges is really perfect for that too. But anyways, hope that was helpful. Make sure you incorporate once again, just to, just to rehash, incorporate, um, bilateral movements and unilateral movements. And you shall see, and you should see an increase in your leg strength and avoid injury, muscle imbalances, one leg being stronger or bigger than the other, all that you shouldn't have an issue with. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Please like, subscribe. This is Brandon, and I'm out.